everything is swollen up literally <laughs> welcome back to my channel my name is noma sondo i'd like to welcome all the new subscribers really i'm Hela. you are so welcome 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 if i knew shanghai i was gonna do it and shanghai as well because child yeah i'm going to try by all means to give you two videos a week but like it's so difficult because guys i am real 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 time but anyway so today we're back with second trimester update child so, my like second second pregnancy is is way different from my first my first was like i felt like it was a breeze yes the last month was kind of hectic but like honestly um i didn't have what the, these challenges i'm going through right now for once um my second trimester um most of the time like obviously my stomach now is getting bigger and uh, it's very visible the itchiness child i am itching everywhere like, my tummy looks darker than my entire body <sighs> yeah child i'm using um bio oil and all the oils that are, are oilable out there but like another one nasal problem i've got i don't know what's wrong with me now oh, firstly i've got sinuses now and now i feel like my nose is always congested like i'm always clogged up in the nose sneeze i'm bleeding and not bleeding like swear like wow i am flooding through my nose um that's why i guess it's wide open like that like yeah i'm going through all that and another thing, if I even get like a small cut, because obviously my blood flow is more than normal. Like a, like the other day I had like a small cut on my lip. Yo, I was bleeding. My, I looked like I had a huge cut. Like I was just flood of blood. <sighs> I need to take a breathe like i need to breathe every time i speak and i'm trying to make my videos shorter because i feel like my videos are so long like another <sighs> problem i i am facing well i faced m now it's still there but slightly better um it's dental problem so like my my gums are extra extra um sensitive i bleed quite easily like when i brush my teeth i would bleed so what i do i found myself i got myself um i got myself a soft toothbrush and i find it difficult to use mouthwash now like i feel like my my entire mouth is like like I f it's so uncomfortable to use mouthwash so i my grandmother told me actually to use soap water instead of my, my um, uh, mouthwash and it will ease obviously the pain um i think it works i'm not sure like Ooh. dizziness they say in pregnancy your circulation changes so that may cause dizziness that's what the doctor says so all you have to do is drink plenty of water i do drink like a whole lot of water i'm always thirsty regardless so but my only problem is i like tea i like i love tea so recently i've had like i don't know i i, I don't like i don't like five roses anymore for some odd reason um i find it a bit weak so i went i moved on to choco i do drink a lot of rooibos um i like rooibos i saw my mother-in-law once had rooibos with lemon and honey so i tried that once oh it slaps and i was like yeah no this is my thing from now on because you can't have tea too much like sometimes sugar ugh. It's a lot, but um, I try and juice there and there, you know. If you feel dizzy, maybe the best thing to do, lie down. Um, lie down on your side. Child, this thing of sleeping, I think that's a topic for another day because I have learned so much about sleeping while I'm pregnant. Mm. Um, <laughs> um, leg cramps. Um, yeah 
you know what that what yo you guys have seen flame with leg cramps have you ever been woken up by a cramp in the middle of the night it's just uncomfortable so one night i was um at my grandmother's house and like i got woken up by this horrible painful cramp on my leg i jumped i literally jumped up like i was like uh, uh, uh. my aunt came running like everybody thought i was like i don't know dying or something <laughs> my aunt came running and the following morning i was a joke of the town child Ooh, cramps were embarrassing and one thing about Kohai, you don't want to do something stupid in front of everyone because you'll be the joke of the town. Everybody's going to be laughing at you. But anyway, and also wear comfortable shoes. That's one thing I've learned. I love heels. So, Miguel, apparently, heel, I shop a mall. I give one more. Hey, you ring the cramp on one name. Did it come back here? So, wear comfortable shoes. Don't try to be Beyonce in this bull. Mm -mm. Be yourself. In your lane. Ah, this one just hurts me so bad. This one is quite painful. Uh, vagina discharge, guys. Mm -hmm. I've got a lot of discharge so much. I don't even know. Like, uh, I literally have to change my panty liners at least three times a day. Like, so much discharge. And then another thing I'm experiencing, which is the first time, um, my outer labia is swollen, like, like it's swollen, like it's so uncomfortable. And, um, the doctor said it's normal because of my blood flow and how I try to like ease the, the tension, the, the feeling of uncomfortability, I put my legs up and it like uh, like if i feel my vagina then if my legs are up gone like my vagina look it feels normal by that time as soon as i put my feet down literally i can feel like in i can literally feel blood running to my vagina like it, it goes like i can literally feel it oh it's so uncomfortable it's so uncomfortable at first i thought it was an infection i was sure i was like um this is an infection of some sort because like it you i've never seen such a thing in my life my vagina literally is like triple its size like it's just <laughs> Oh, God. I'm seeing things I've never saw this one my very first pregnancy this never happened to me but here I am it's like it's very big and I feel like the baby is sitting very low that down and it hurts it hurts like a man it hurts hurts guys it hurts hmm. and then there's my pelvic bone <laughs> yeah you I get up oh yeah you I get up every time you move like oof, it feels like a sting but inside and there's nothing you can do about it you can't ease off the pain you can't do shit about it besides move slowly and I have to walk a certain way, like, yeah, no, this pregnancy is showing me things. And already get to the second trimester, my vagina is swollen. I've got so much discharge. Um, crying every second, second minute. I, 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 my body, I don't feel like I've gained a lot of weight. The only thing that I, like, I'm struggling with is carrying this, this, this thing in my tummy. Like, oh, just guessing, but. Like, I'm out of breath most of the time. I try, like, guys, I work out every fucking day. Excuse my French. I wake up in the morning. I work out to do my stretches and meditate and, you know, try to get my body active and moving. But, like, it just doesn't stop. I work, I would work out. Fine. After I work out, um, 
have my breakfast, whatever. If I'm sitting too long, ding, 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 ding. Pains. My hips now start telling me, now get up. Now I get up, move around, move around. My feet start telling me, sit down. I sit down. Now, I, I'm sitting, my vagina feels like, it, I don't know, it's about to fall on the floor. So I have to put my feet up, put my feet up. Then I feel like my head is moving like, oh. Thank you so much for being here. I love peace and happiness. Don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe, and share my videos, guys. Thank you so much. I love you all at home. Bye.